The weekend's move by ODM party leader Raila Odinga to build bridges by reconciling the two functions in the party saw the meeting conclude with the nomination of new young faces to run the party. A list that saw both the Agnes Zani-led camp and that of Ababu Namwamba accommodated in a power sharing arrangement now awaiting the National Governing Council's nod. Although not tentative, the list is already receiving murmurs threatening a rebellion which it sought to cure. Rarienda MP Nicholas Gumbo described the nomination as an abuse to members' dedication and loyalty to the party, discrediting the plot as one that flouts the party's constitution. And he's questioning the rush in installing new officials at a time the party is in mourning of the late Homer Bay Senator Otieno Kajuang. However, another section of members are applauding the move as a step toward uniting the party and tame rebel MPs who have been calling for a change in leadership. Ugunja MP Opio Wandai, who has been proposed as the political affairs secretary, took a swipe at the rebel MPs, challenging them to now join forces with the new officials for the good of the party. Any well-meaning, loyal party member would have no reason to disengage from the party, and more so given what the party has started to do in terms of restructuring itself. It needed readiness for next elections. His sentiments were echoed by other members who hailed the party leader for bringing together Team Zani and Team Ababu, the two opposing sides in the February botched elections. When you look at the face of ODM now and you see Ababu and you see Mbadi and you see Joho and you see Ongoro, you see women, you see youth, you see energy, combined with experience of uh, Oparanya, the party leader himself. So there is a very, very good combination. Who have been using the excuse of uh, the age of the leaders we have in the party to pretend uh, that they have different uh, opinion now have no more excuse. Indeed, I, I believe they are very happy people. The party is united. We are speaking with one voice. It was a give and take position, a lot of concessions and um, an agreement that the party is bigger than all of us and that we have a bigger picture before us and that is the forthcoming general elections. The National Executive Council's proposed list will have to be approved by the National Governing Council who meet on the 5th December to deliberate on the nominees. Key party loyalists like James Orengo did not make it to the list that has Suba MP John Badi as the party chairman and Ababu Namwamba as the Secretary General. Mario Canari, Channel 1 News.